back to the woman joining us tonight that Travis Alexander planned to marry, Linda Ballard Boss. Linda, what is your reaction when you learned that all this, all this time, after you had broken it off with Travis, he kept that ring all this time, and then it was actually stolen by Jody Arias. And the jury has a misconception, I'm afraid, because it wasn't clarified in court, that it was your engagement ring intended for you that she stole. They think, I, I, I believe, that she stole a ring belonging to Travis, like a man's ring. They don't realize that she stole this ring knowing full well it was the ring he intended to give you. Yes, I, I remember when he bought that ring. Uh, I wasn't there when he bought it. I, he, I knew he was planning on proposing to me. We were talking very seriously about marriage, um, and we thought about getting married in February of 2002. So I think it was January that he bought the ring for me, um, and I actually started to have doubts about whether I wanted to continue the relationship, and I broke off um, our relationship before he had the chance to propose. But what was that your ring, doubt, I may did. I ask? What was your doubt? Oh, yeah. Um, please ask. I, um, I actually was very in love with Travis, and so I, it was the hardest thing, one of the hardest things I ever had to do was to break up with him. But I was praying a lot about whether or not I should marry him, and I just didn't feel like it was right. I didn't feel like he was the right man for me, even though he was a wonderful man and I loved him. I was also very young at the time. I was Did 20 years old. Did it have something to I do still... with prepaid legal? Well, I know that that was mentioned on your show. And, uh, you know, it is true that I was not um, as gung-ho about prepaid legal as he was. I was a little uncomfortable with multi-level marketing because I was uncomfortable with trying to sell it to all of my friends. And so I didn't know if I could be the most supportive wife that he really oh, wanted you know me what, to be. Oh, you know what, Linda, let me, let me say, Linda, with me is the woman Travis planned to marry. Um, you're saying that you didn't want to try to sell prepay to your friends. You know what, I'm so glad my whole legal career, I was a public servant, I would rather try a murder case, all right, or child molest or, you know, uh, arson, bank robbery, rather than go and try to solicit business. I, I don't know. That's just, that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to be an ambulance chaser. I didn't want to put out an ad. I went to law school specifically to represent crime victims. I, I get it. I, I mean, what do you call your friend and go, hey, if you're a prepaid legal, I completely get it. I, I know that that started it between you guys, the, the, the issue, but he never really quit loving you. I, I, I don't think he held on to that ring all these years. And I know even at the end had a very tender spot for you. As a matter of fact, you two were in touch up until the very end. Didn't you speak with him after he had begun began dating Jody Arias? Yes. Uh, the last time that I remember seeing Travis was in October of 2006. I invited him to go with me to the Arizona State Fair because I knew that he really liked roller coasters and so do I. And so we rode a lot of rides together and I think it was on that occasion that he mentioned Jody to me. He said he dated a girl, he's been dating a girl named Jody and he mentioned to me that she is a pathological liar. And he actually told me a, a little story about something that she lied about and Unlike Jody, I don't remember a lot of details about the past, but I do remember that it had something to do with an ex-boyfriend of hers and some lies that she had told to Travis regarding her ex-boyfriend. 